Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, here is an amazing crash course on Amazon Bedrock. Uh, many people were requesting for this. Uh, now what exactly is Amazon Bedrock? It is the easiest way to build and scale generative AI applications within your AWS platform itself, right? Right now, many companies uh, are using this. They are using this because understand one thing that there are so many different different companies who are providing LLM models for or LIM models for different different text generation and image generation tasks, right? There is OpenAI, there is Cloudy2, there is Google, there is uh, even Amazon also has its own LLM model like which is named as Titan. And similarly, there is also Facebook, which is like Llama2 model. So understand each and everything is that what is the main problem right now if you want to use these apis if you want to use these models everybody has a different different setup right now what amazon bedrock actually provides you it provides you one aws platform where all the models will be available and through their api calls you can probably use any of this kind of models right now OpenAI is not there but other than that i could see almost each and every model that was available in amazon bedrock now, why this is important? Because a single platform, here you don't have to worry about scalability, you don't have to worry about other things. Uh, with respect to the cost that is uh, uh, in the Amazon Bedrock, right? it is slightly more than the OpenAI, and probably in the future it may also get reduced. But at the end of the day, you should know what exactly Amazon Bedrock is, and probably I'll show you in this particular video different, different tasks. I will try to code it, and I'll try to show you how you can use these APIs itself. So here is what is Amazon Bedrock, an easiest way to build and scale generative AI application with foundation model. I'll also discuss about what are these foundation models. As I said, so many different different companies are coming up with some LLM models. Itself. So that is the foundation model. You can do the fine tuning here itself. You can use any of these models, perform any task, and even directly you can use it in your application wherever it is required. Okay. So if I talk about uh, Amazon Bedrock, it is fully managed service that makes FMs uh, that is foundation models from leading AI startup and Amazon available via an API. So you can choose from a wide range of FMs to find the model that is best suited for your case. So with Bedrock serverless experience, you can start quickly, privately customize this FM foundation models with your own data and easily integrate and deploy them in your application using AWS tools. So here you don't have to even worry about the deployment, the scalability and everything as such. So uh, let me just go ahead and uh, click on get started. So this is how it looks like. Now what all companies it specifically support because I'm also going to show you the entire coding also, right? How you can use all these models. Right now in this foundation model, uh, there are different different models like from AI21 Labs, you can see Jurassic 2 series is there. From Amazon, you have Titan models. From Cloudy, you have this, this Cloudy models by Anthro Anthropic. Uh, you have Llama 2, you have Stable Diffusion by Stability AI, you have this command by Cohere. So this, through this, you'll be able to perform different, different use cases like chat, text, image, right? And it also provides you hands-on lab uh, along with that, some kind of learning course, some basic learning course, which you can probably get started to. Now, here are some of the examples. Here you can see what all uh, different, different use cases you can solve with respect to different, different models, right? So with the help of Titan Text G1, you can see action items from a meeting transcript, advanced Q&A with citation, uh, with Llama 2 chat 13B, right? So this 13 billion parameters you have, you can create chain of thoughts. Then here also you have with 70 billion parameters. With Cloudy, you can have character role play, code generation, content generation, contract entity extraction, create an image, create an image. Here you can see creating a table of product description, uh, then you have debug code with Llama 2, uh, 13 billion parameters, Llama 2 chat. Then you have Jurassic, then you have this, right? So as soon as you probably click on anything, let's say I'm going to go and see that how it is going to create an image. So here it is what it looks like, right? This is the entire API request that you have to probably call. And with the help of this, this image will be generated. Let's say I will probably, let's say here, okay, I can open this in playground and I can give my own so hd image of a beach so this is the playground where you can with uh, sunset with sunrise i can basically write like this right so as soon as i give this prompt and if i run it you will be able to see that i'll be able to see this entire image so it actually creates this this is from the stable diffusion itself right so here you'll be able to see once we wait it uh, 
will be able to run it and now here you can see this is an amazing image that is created and you can use hd image cinematic display all different different things you can probably put over here uh <clears throat> if i still go with respect to the overviews so as i showed all these things they are there examples you can probably see all these things are there you can go ahead and check out in the playground let's say there is something called as creating table of product description here you can see this is the prompt right sunglasses keywords polarized is this is there let's say this is your table you can probably ask any kind of questions and get with respect to the answers also over here right so different different use cases is there at the end of the day i'll just not show you this apis now let's go ahead and implement all these things right and there are steps some steps which uh, we will be seeing completely from scratch again uh, you can use any of the services at such yes there is some pricing because at the end of the day you are using some cloud services right it always depends on the tokens that you are specifically getting so based on that amazon bedrock basically charges you so if you want to see the pricing you can probably go ahead over here and write amazon bedrock and you can click on pricing right so um, bedrock pricing here is the link here you'll be able to see the pricing overview different different pricing is there and this is for thousand input tokens right price per thousand output tokens input tokens output tokens so all these prices is there you can compare it with open ai models and all but still this pricing uh, will get reduced as we go ahead more so custom solutions will probably come up right so this is there all good things and you'll also be able to understand uh, see titan is also having this multi model embeddings but at the end of the day we should know that how we can actually create entirely completely from scratch so let me go ahead and start uh this let's see whether i have opened any vs code or not so i will go ahead and start my vs code mm -mm. so let's see over here here is a folder that i have created over here let me rename this to uh aws bedrock okay and let me show you okay um bedrock okay and uh, let me just quickly show you how you can probably start it okay so i'll show you the entire setup from starting and all what, what all things is basically required over here and uh, you also require an im key over here itself right so first of all i will open the terminal now after opening the terminal over here i will open the command prompt as usual we will go ahead and uh, create a new environment that is always a good idea okay so for creating a new environment i'll write conda create minus p v n v python double equal to 3.1 o with y okay so i hope everybody knows about this so this will basically create my v n v environment and once uh, that environment is created i will activate it till then i will also go ahead and install requirements dot txt okay so once i install requirement dot txt i will be requiring some libraries like boto3 so boto3 is a library which will actually help me to connect all the services that we have in amazon bedrock right uh, aws bedrock also so this is some of the things uh, along with this uh, i will also go ahead and import or install aws cli right so guys now after creating the environment i will go ahead and activate the environment so vnv so my environment has been activated now what i'm actually going to do over here i'll save this requirement.txt and then we will go ahead and install these two libraries one is pip install pip install minus r requirement.txt so once i specifically install all these requirements so one is two two only libraries are required boto3 and aws cli now the next thing till this requirement is getting installed we also need to create and i am user so that we will be able to configure it with the aws itself right so what i'm actually going to go i'll go and click on the home page okay i will sign into the console again and here i will search for iam user okay so once you go to the iam user you will be able to see that i will go ahead and create a user itself so right now there are multiple users so let me do one thing let me go and see the user already krish is created but i will just create one more user let's say test test admin okay so this is the user that i will specifically create and i will click on next i will say attach policies directly i will select this option and i will give the administrator access okay so administrator access basically means that we are giving the administrator access itself right 
but again when you're working in the company you will definitely not get this access uh, instead uh, based on the services that you are specifically using that access you will get okay um i will go ahead and create the policy so let's see once i go over here then it'll ask for some permission so okay forget about policies then i will go ahead and here you will be able to see that i'll select the next button okay after selecting the next button you can see i'm getting the administrator access along with this what i'll go i'll do go ahead and create the user itself now this is the user that you can see over here test admin right and now let me click on this create access key right so i definitely require an access key so for that i will go ahead and create this over here you can select command line interface since we are going to use it for cli i will go ahead and click on this i understand and then i will go ahead and click on the next once i click on the next you will be able to see there's some description value it will ask for i will say test key okay and let me go ahead and create the access key so here you can see i have the access key i have the secret access key now what you can do is that in this particular case uh, you can download this right so that later on you will not be able to see this so it is a good idea that you download this in the form of csv file so i'll download this in the form of csv file and inside this csv file i'll get these two values one is access key one is the secret access key so let me do quickly go ahead and copy this and now i will go ahead and configure it right we need to configure it over here so already you know that we have also made sure that this aws cli is available over here and it is installed now what we are going to do quickly is that we will go ahead and configure it from the command line so let me go ahead and write aws configure right so here you will be able to see it is asking for aws key id so i will copy and paste it over here so i will copy this and i will paste it over here okay so once i probably paste it you will be able to see that it will also ask for secret access key so here i will copy it and let me quickly go ahead and paste it over here so here is what see right now you are able to see the access key but don't worry i will delete this as soon as i complete this video now the default region it is basically asking so right now it is us east one so if i go ahead and see my amazon bedrock right now where i am pointing to so please make sure that you point it to us east one if you are not pointing over here you can basically whatever region you are pointing you have to write it over there but right now according to me i'm going to point it over here right that is with respect to us east one now one more additional setting you really need to do is that go to the model access because see initially when you are in this us east one this model access will not be given right so over here you have to access you, you need to have the status of access granted then only you'll be able to use this specific models now for that you, when you click on manage model access right automatically the selection will come and here you will be able to just save the changes you here one option of activate changes will come see in the bottom side like save changes is over here no so here i have enabled it and this access is granted right now if it is not granted then this all will be disabled right now right so what i will do just to show you an example let me just reload this page let me show you whether i have granted some other uh, see let's say with respect to singapore if i'm in asia pacific singapore region right now inside the singapore region you will be able to see that see something is not available over here right like this two are not available so i will skip singapore let's go to tokyo okay just to show you an idea because i have already activated in us east one so if i probably see with this region here you will be able to see this much access you have available to a request available to request so if i probably click on manage model and if i probably just click on this let's say these are available right i just need to click on request model access so for this region only this three models are available this two models are available so my always suggestion would be that you go to us east one right in us east one you will be able to see multiple models like this right multiple models you'll be able to see it okay so you have to request for the access right if i probably you can select us east one also or you can also select us west it is up to you us west two so here also they provide you the access of all the models right so understand one thing why i'm showing you all these things because initially you really need to request the access and this is also what i have requested already so here you'll be able to find out more use cases right so everything is available right but by default i will go ahead and use this us east 
of n virginia okay so right now again my access is granted so you if your access is not granted you have to request for it okay so once this is done <clears throat> i'll go back to my command prompt here the default region is us east one so i'll press enter this is what i really want and default output format i want in the form of json so i will go ahead and write json okay so this is the initial setup you really need to do now let's start working on different different models so so guys now once we have actually configured now we will go ahead and use any of these models as an example and we'll try to perform various tasks so in this example uh, let me do one thing uh, let me take an example of content generation in cloud okay so cloudy cloudy one we can specifically take or uh, let's say i want llama 2 you can actually take llama 2 so it's it's up to you so let's first of all st start with this llama 2 itself uh, and for this i'm going to specifically use llama 2 70 billion parameters okay the chain of thoughts okay and with respect to every model uh, you will be getting some model id content type so this is how is the api request needs to go so we'll form this entire api request through our code and then we will go ahead and hit this okay so let me quickly go ahead and start my coding okay so here i will rename this to llama2 the llama2 so here is the file guys llama2.py so i will start my code over here so first of all let me go ahead and write import boto3 i'm going to import boto3 along with that i'm also going to import json uh, the first thing as usual you will be able to see that whenever I see this files right say chain of thought over here I have to create my API request with the help of model name model ID then I need to also put content type then applic uh, accept then my body should look something like this prompt with all this information see uh, in llama 2 so basically your uh, your uh, prompt uh, intro will start with or prompt first character will probably start with first word will start with this okay it's just like an instruction okay inst then here you have multiple options you can probably see this right uh, you have options like max gen length then temperature then top p 0.9 something like this okay so top p basically means i think it is with respect to the probability so let's quickly go ahead and set up that entire command prompt so what i will do is that i will copy this entirely okay and i will create one json okay i will write test dot json so that i have that format over here so this is the json i have to make sure that i have to put all my api requests in this form okay for using llama 2 now quickly i will go ahead and write one prompt underscore data i will say hey uh, this prompt data i want to do something like that i like i'll say act as a, as a shakespeare and write a poem on machine learning let's say I, this is my prompt that i specifically want to use okay now the most amazing thing is that amazon uh, aws bedrock is quite good you know it, it provides you easy apis the apis request you just need to use it and uh, start serving it start using it in your application so i will first of all go ahead and use this bedrock so i will write bedrock is equal to boto3.client and then I will specifically use my service underscore name or uh, service underscore name is equal to and I have to give the service name as bedrock uh, dash runtime. So this is the first thing that we really need to do. This is the client name like this is the service name that we really need to use and with the help of Boto3 we will be able to connect to the bedrock itself. So this is my bedrock over here. Now the next thing is that I need to form the payload right so this will basically be my payload structure as a dictionary i will try to find give the values in key value pair as usual if i probably see the test json this is what is my body so i need to have in the form of key value press prompt is equal to some value then uh, you'll be able to see max gen length some value temperature some value top underscore p some value so similarly i will also give my payload in this format so here i will write prompt colon and here i will go ahead and write inst since this is my intro right and uh, this intro will be concatenated with my prompt underscore data right so this i'm concatenating with my prompt underscore data and in the end i have to probably also end this instruction okay so this is how my prompt 
this this prompt body has got created right this this is what it has got created right because the prompt will get inserted over here now along with this prompt i need to provide some more different different values right what all values i need to provide one example is that i'm getting from my api max gen underscore length okay and this will also be in the form of key value pairs and here i will mention 5 to l okay and then the next thing is that i will go ahead and write temperature with colon 0.5 comma top underscore p colon 0.9 okay so these are my initial values that i've actually set up and this is not thing but this is my payload the payload that is specifically going over here so once we do this the next thing what i will do this is basically my body so i will write body json dot dumps i will basically convert this into a json and i will use my payload over here okay so once my body is basically created the next thing what i'm actually going to do over here i'm going to basically write my model id and use model id name as usual the model id name is this one meta this one version one something okay so i'll paste it over here so this basically becomes my model id itself now i'll go ahead and create my response now in the response what i need to do i just need to write bedrock the bedrock object that is created over here dot invoke invoke underscore model okay now inside this i will give my first parameter the first parameter is nothing but body the body will be initialized to this specific body itself uh, whatever body we have actually created the second parameter is nothing but my model id so model oops just a second bedrock so i have to use this model id okay so this will basically be my second parameter that i really need to give model id and this i will initialize to what we need to initialize to this model id right so my second parameter is also done body is done model id is done after model id i need to give my accept token as usual what is the accept token in test.json it is nothing but application slash json so i'll paste it over here oops i'll paste it over here done the next parameter after this will be nothing but let me see content type okay so i have to also give my content type over here this will also be my application slash json i guess again i'm just seeing this api so whatever values are there my body is ready my accept model id content type everything is ready these are the four parameters i need to give in my invoke model right what model i am specifically invoking now once i get this uh, you will be able to see that once i probably go ahead and write response underscore this will basically be my response inside this response understand once i get this specific response i'll write i'll take the body part okay so inner part uh, because there will be a lot many different different contents that will be coming up so if i write json dot loads i will take this value and i will say response dot get so inside this there will be a key which will be called as body okay inside that body you will find out entire information of the response that you are able to get in this particular case whatever text i'm writing act as a sex and write a poem on machine learning so this is basically my prompt and it will give that specific text inside this body okay so i will write this okay um just body dot read this is done now i will go ahead and print i can also print it but i don't want it so let me go ahead and write response underscore text now inside this one thing that you will be able to see that whenever we use llama 2 if you don't know i have also created videos with respect to llama 2 the open source model if i use this response underscore body there will also be a key see inside this body there will be a body key inside that there will be another key which will be called as generation which will have the entire text of the response that we want okay so i will just go ahead and print this response underscore text done now let's see if everything is working fine or not and whether we will be able to see each and everything so this is very simple a prompt is over here we have invoked the bedrock then there is a payload then here you have this entire body uh, body i've created in the form of json then model id accept content type the main thing is understand this test json right and then you will be able to do it so perfect let's execute this now and let's see whether everything is working fine or not okay so i will just go ahead and write python llama 2 oops clear the screen okay python 
lama two dot py. Okay. So it'll take some time. Again, uh, as you all know, uh, some response time it'll take with respect to the APIs that we have. Uh, and again, now we are hitting the specific API from the cloud, uh, from the AWS server itself, right? In AWS Bedrock. So, so here is the entire text. Here you'll be able to see. In the fair digital realm where data dot flows free, a wondrous art dot rise called machine learning. Yes, see, this is a this is a science, a craft, a mystic spell. The dot enable machine to learn and tell. With algorithm sharp and data set vast, our computers do not don't gain wisdom and their insights dot last. And again, based on the token size, it will be charging. Okay. So <clears throat> all the information, see, now whatever prompt you want to give over here, right? Let's say what I'll go ahead and write what is generative AI, like um, write a poem on generative AI. You'll be able to see this. You'll get some response over here. So I'll save this. Now I will go ahead and run it. Okay. Now similarly, you can actually do it with Cloudy too. You can do it uh, stable diffusion. I'll also show you an example with respect to stable diffusion, and then you can also explore that. Uh, as said, uh, now let's go ahead. Uh, you know, we will try to do it with the help of Cloudy too. And again, uh, with respect to that, also we'll try to see. Okay. So this is one ge text generation. So here also you can see. Um, in the realm of code and circularity, a marvel of man's ingenuity, a creation that dot rival the generative AI wonder to see. So all the information is specifically coming over here. Now let's try another API. And then after this, we will go ahead and try, uh, you know, the image generation with the help of stable diffusion. So cloudy, uh, let's see where is cloudy, cloudy content generation. Okay. So here is my API. So I'll copy this. Mm -mm -mm. It is always good to keep a test JSON like this. Okay. Now almost each and everything is same. Okay. I will tell talk about like what all changes will basically happen. Okay. So Lama 2, uh, let me just copy this four lines of code it will be almost same. Then I have my payload. I will also copy this and then we'll change the payload. Okay. So we'll change the payload. So inside this payload, you have prompt is equal to human you are an expert social media generation so whatever prompt basic prompt data right so here i don't have to probably create this i don't want this okay so this will basically be my prompt data done then let's go with the next parameter so what are the next parameter come on guys till then hit like i'm working so much hard here come on we, 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 okay. Anthropic version is there. Stop sequence is there. Temperature, uh, this is there. Max tokens is there. Say max token to sample is there. So let me just quickly go ahead and write what all things I require over here. So I will go ahead and write max uh, tokens. Okay. So this will be 5 to 12 for max tokens. Then I have my temperature. Then I have my, the stop P parameter looks something like this. Okay. Pa point top P will be point 0.8. Okay. Something. I'm putting some values temperature let's keep it 2.8 let it be more creative okay so this is basically my payload okay now everything almost looks same uh you'll be able to see that i will uh, mm, mm, mm. okay i think uh, there is another one let's see content generation is also there this is also there okay fine no worries okay so i will i think i've used another version let me use another one also which i have already tried so it will be looking good. Okay. So cloudy too. So let's quickly go ahead and create my body. So here you have this one. So body json.doms payload model ID will be this one, right? Bedrock this, everything is there. Body model ID application and content type. So once we get the response this time, when we get the response body, okay, like this, when we get this specific body, now inside this body, you'll be able to see that there in the case of Llama 2, inside this body, we have generation. But here inside this body, we will be having some more steps. Okay. So that will be some more uh, key value pairs. So here I've written it. So it will be nothing but completions of zero, get data and then get text. So in completions, there it is just like a list of key value pairs. So I will just take the first one and then probably display the data inside that whatever text is basically coming. And then we will go ahead and response underscore text. Okay. So now everything works fine. I think I've used this model or other model. So this is version two. Okay. In cloudy. 
let's see in cloudy some other version is also there um i don't know from where i found out but it was available here only advanced q a yes i used i used this one i guess yeah advanced q a i used this model id i guess okay perfect so once we do this uh, let's go ahead and run it now now i'll go to my terminal now let's see whether each and everything will run fine or not once i tried with llama 2 now i'm tried with cloud d2 right so i will write python cloud d2 cloud dot py okay so here also you'll be able to see the print statement oh this was quite fast right so here you can see oh gentle ai with your boundary power to think and create with no efforts so you are specifically getting this specific output also so this was with respect to cloudy again you can try anything that you want just take this json just try to play with it uh, let's say i i take this information only and use this model let's see i will paste it over here i will take this entire thing and paste this model so here itself i'll change it i think cloudy i may get an error because i don't know whether we are able to manage it or not so i thought access denied see so this model is not available the version one is available i guess i think i i explored this early find it somewhere if i probably search this you will be able to find it i guess let's see but anyhow you try it out from your end i any i'll be giving you the code like this we are not able to search advanced q a and all okay fine uh next start with uh i think uh, you see in us why that is not working right because if i go ahead and see the model access the cloudy model is not available see cloudy instant is not available so that is the reason that version one was available and i was still exploring things right and i probably got in that but no worries i uh, will now go ahead with stable diffusion so let's go to the base model see version 2.1 these all models are specifically there if i go to examples uh, let's see with respect to stable diffusion so 1.0 is there 0.8 is there we'll go with the recent one and again i will go ahead and copy this okay so this will be basically be my next text json okay so i will keep all these things over here itself now let me quickly create one more file let's save this one more file stable diffusion now here we will try to create an image in aws itself from aws.py okay now for stable diffusion also almost all the things will be same i've already created the code but here what i will do i will just show you what all things i will do see stable diffusion basically means i have written a prompt data see provide me a 4k hd image of beach also use blue sky rainy season and cinematic display okay now with respect to this text json here you can see body has something called as text prompt and then you have text information and with respect to the text information this is basically my prompt along with this you have parameters like weight cfg scale seed this 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 is there so what i do first of all i will set in that format only so first of all i create my prompt template where i have my text my prompt data with weight okay so this becomes my entire this information understand this thing right you just need to set it that's that's it text is equal to this information with weight so i've kept it in the form of list with key value pairs so that is what i am getting it over here inside this prompt template then i've used boto client i've used the service name uh, runtime now remaining is all my payload so inside this what all payload you require see first of all i require text prompt the second thing that i require is seed steps width height right width height so let me do one thing i will change this to 1024 i will also change it to 1024 so these are all the parameters i've set step size is nothing but 50 width is 1024 height is 1024 so this becomes my entire payload i have converted this into the json i've used this model id because this is the same model id i'm able to get it over here right stability dot stable diffusion x1 v1 it's very simple once you do one right everything will be able to use it so here i've used that then i have invoked this model with content type model id body everything once i get the response now see what response you will get in this format right when you probably see the response body there you'll be getting 
key value pairs with something called as artifacts. Inside that, you will find a base64 encoded response of the images. So what we did is that we took this particular artifact of zero. We took that base64, we encoded it with UTF-8, and this is how you read any encoded image, right? From that encoded image, we have converted that into bytes, and then we have saved that particular image to some output directory. So output directory, output folder will get created, and I am creating one image over here, right? So uh, that is what we are specifically doing with respect to this, right? So a uh, file name will be nothing but inside that particular output directory, and then we can open that specific image if you want. Okay, we are writing that image, sorry. We are writing that image inside this particular PNG. That is the same. See, whatever things we did over here, only the thing that is changing, how you're converting that bytes information that we are getting into an image and saving that in our folder. Okay, so let me quickly execute and run it and show it to you, and then you will be able to understand, okay? So here I will be showing you Python stable diffusion.py. So once I execute it here, you now, okay, request steps 400 generation error. What is this error? Let's see. Uh, okay, there is an error. Let's see what is the error. Bedrock invo invoke model. Let me see. I think there was a small minor mistake. X1 version, this, 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 is Clyde 3, okay, Windows. Let me see over here. So now it is working. I did some minor mistake over there, which I have fixed it, okay? So this is the byte information that we are getting, see? The image bytes. Now if I see my output folder, this is my image, okay? So if I go ahead and see, find in folder, okay, sorry. I will go ahead and uh, preview in folder, reveal in file explorer. So if I go ahead and create this image, see this image, this is how the image is basically created. And it's look good, right? So what is the prompt I've used over here? If you see uh, with respect to this, uh, my stable diffusion.py, here we have basically created something like this. Provide me a 4K HD image of a beach. So I hope you got an idea with respect to this. Uh, now in the coming videos, what I'll do is that I'll create some amazing projects by using this specific APIs. But in short, once I deploy these projects, I can deploy it any way I want, right? Hugging face spaces anywhere itself. So my suggestion would be that try as many as you can, see different, different like character role play, what is the input prompt that you really need to give. Based on that, try to create use cases, which will be amazing for you, right? So this was it for my side. I hope you like this particular video. Please, if you like this particular video, please make sure that you hit like, like, share with all your friends. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, one doll. Take care. Bye-bye.